Scorpio, welcome back to Egyptian Intuition Tarot. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to book a personal, the information is below. If you'd like to join members, that information is also on the page. Just log on from a laptop and click join. We're going to say a quick prayer, and then we're going to go ahead and get into it. So, Holy Spirit, please use me to guide Scorpio on what's going on, what to expect, and what to look forward to. Please always keep them feeling safe, loved, and protected. Amen. It is currently 3.40 p.m., and today is February 28th of 2023. I hope you guys are doing well. So first things first, real quick, I just did the Aries reading. I took a break to go let my dog outside and whatnot. Um, I was listening to the playback of that reading as we were walking and literally as soon as I told them something's gonna fall into your lap, a big ass palm from one of the palm trees dropped, okay? So I would strongly advise you to watch. It doesn't matter if it's a Scorpio reading or not, but if the title resonates, just watch it because you never know. Also yesterday in Sag, I told them to expect a surprise in two hours. Didn't think much of it. And then last night we met with my grandma for dinner and she got me all these gifts. And I was just like, what? Like, <laughs> where is this coming from? So you just never know. I just never want you guys to miss any valuable information that could be of use or service to you. So let's go ahead and get into your reading. First things first, you could be seeing 777 a lot. I was hearing the return. So for some of you, someone is coming to you. Someone has something to tell you as well. Also, I feel like someone wants your opinion about something. I was hearing how do you feel about so on and so forth. Also, go back in your camera roll or your notes, something about February 3rd. I would check this year and last year to try to get like a complete picture of what could be coming back around. Also, I was hearing the names Hector and Lance. They could be significant to you. For some of you, you could have just gotten a membership somewhere. This could be a gym or some type of organization maybe you just became a part of. Also, you need to look up the meaning of your name, your first, middle, and last name. For example, my name translates to Jewel. So anytime my friends go to a different country, my name's like plastered everywhere. Um, but yeah, look up the meaning of your name. I feel like um, it'll be good information for you to know, all right? For some of you, you could be dealing with a Pisces, a Sag, or a Capricorn. Also, I was hearing John the Apostle. You might want to look him up. For some of you, you could be packing for some type of trip or some type of travel. I was seeing one of those small planes that you have to take to smaller islands, so just take it how it resonates. Also, you could be dealing with an Aries as well. Also, I was seeing somebody looking through a keyhole, so take it how it resonates. Um... You may be getting like new keys or something of that nature. For some of you, you're on the verge of unlocking something. But yeah, I was seeing somebody look through a keyhole, all right? Um, also, I was getting something about Nova Scotia in 17 days. That falls on March 17th, so we'll just keep our eye out for that. Also, I feel like you scare someone. When I look back on February 3rd to see what you know, I had in my phone, I had a text from my friend Jada and I had a dream about her that night whenever I texted her and pretty much every single detail in my dream was what she was doing. Like even the place, I was like, were you at a place called Diamonds? And she sent me like the eye emojis and she's like, see now this is where you scared me. And like even down to how much she paid for her food, like every single detail was in my dream and I relayed it to her and it was all accurate. So same thing for you or the same feeling that she had when talking to me, I feel like you scare someone in some way. Um, I was also, I'm hearing human lie detector. Like if somebody tells you a white lie or something's off, maybe you just kind of know instantly and that kind of puts fear in someone's heart. Just take it how it resonates. Also, I was hearing duality. Like people think you're one way, but you're many different ways, you know? People may know you from like one walk of life, but you have like several. I'm hearing seven specifically. You guys could be working with Oya at this time. Also think back to 2005, that could hold some type of significance to something coming full circle now, like a bigger type of thing. I'm hearing legacy, yeah. Um, 
Something about the Northwestern region is significant. You guys might live in this territory. I was also hearing something about Joe Biden, um, but we'll see. I was hearing that song, Diamonds Are... Did you, did you hear that? I just said something about Joe Biden and it sounds like somebody's on like an intercom. It's 345 up next is six communication Gemini energy. We might get some type of like global message like from the president soon. That was weird. What the fuck? Who the who, the, who the fuck is this? <laughs> It is happening out there. I don't even know what kind of truck that is. It kind of reminds me of that truck that passes by for the Google photos or like the Google images, but something's telling me it's not that. I don't know who or what that is, but something industrial. That timing was impeccable though, wow. Anyway, anyway, yeah, something about Joe Biden, something about some type of announcement, but yeah, like I said, that makes me feel like there's something global also, on that note, especially with this, I have over here, there's a stage being prepared. Something could be staged as well. I have written down here, I was seeing a big amphitheater outside. Some of you could be going to some type of show outside or something like that, but I just feel like, I'm gonna leave that alone. We'll see. I also feel like something's hearsay, all right? Um, also on February 3rd, I saw my friend on TV, my friend that I went to high school and middle school with, her name's Mary. I saw her in a Lifetime movie, so you might see somebody that you know on TV. Um, for, let me see, if you're a masculine energy watching this, you may realize that like two of your exes, they're good friends now, so take it how it resonates. Um, also, you guys could be in the process of doing shadow work or finishing up some shadow work. Also, something about the Keys, Inglewood, Inglewood Beach, something about Florida or somewhere with lots of beaches could be significant. You guys might be taking a trip. Also, the color blue is really good for you at this time. For some of you, you need a car wash. Go ahead and get that. I also feel like the seahorse, which symbolizes compassion, the alligator as well are your spirit animals at this time watch the last Taurus reading and to me the alligator kind of symbolizes like waiting for the right moment striking when the iron's hot you know not taking impulsive action always thinking things through before you move forward you know so definitely watch the Taurus reading as that is your opposite also as you're going through your things, like if you're going through any childhood things, I feel like you guys have collector's items that are worth a lot of money right now. I'm seeing Pokemon cards. Ooh, 20% right there. So yeah, just make sure you're looking things up before you just gotta get rid of them or throw them away. I'm also seeing those Barbies that are the collector's Barbies, like you don't take them out of the case. My mom was always so strict about those. But yeah, you have something that's worth lots of money now. Also, you guys could have a masculine car if you're a feminine energy. I was seeing a sticker that says, um, silly boys, Jeeps are for girls. So you may have a Jeep for some of you. Also, I was hearing five star reviews. So some of you guys, whatever you do, I feel like you're getting really good reviews. Also, I was hearing beware of Roxanne or there's a water sign around you. You need to kind of like steer clear of. Yeah. I also know there was a show called Roxanne, but I never watched it. Maybe you guys watched it. And last message. Oh no, there's a couple more messages. Um, I was, <laughs> I don't know if I should say it. I was hearing BBC, but not in the provocative way. There's a clothing line called BBC and I have a male friend who was asking me like oh should i buy these pants and they said like bbc going across them and i was like no like that's so weird you shouldn't buy that i think he said they're made by p diddy but i don't want to be wrong you guys can look that up in your old your own time also you guys could be finding old photos of yourself last thing um Something about angelic presences around you or um, 
I'm hearing dual mission. Like, you know, when there's like somebody in need that's placed along your path and you help them and then you're considered like an angel in their life or, you know, like they really needed that food. They ne really needed that water. They really needed that $5 at that time. I'm seeing you guys kind of play that role. So just know like if you feel the need to kind of extend yourself in some way, like your, your role at that time is kind of like an angel for someone else, but your angels will let you know when to extend yourself. So keep that in mind. And then last message here, I had a screenshot on that day, uh, February 3rd, and it says, people reveal themselves every day. Be prepared to give thanks for the lesson and release with love when they show you observe, accept, and keep it flowing. And I was hearing something about 6.30. So the next three hours could be very significant, like something may be revealed to you over this time. But let's get into your reading and see what's going on, Scorpio. Yeah, give me a second. Ooh, the eyes. Yeah, something like you might see something or observe something, witness something, you guys. It could be good. It could be, you know, Mm, but the chariot, whatever it is that you see, there's some type of forward movement after triumph. So yeah, this is a good thing. Shuffle for Scorpio. El Scorpio. Okay. Let's see, shuffle for Scorpio. All right. So the only card that came upright was the Empress. And this is a new deck, so this is our first time using it here. This kind of looks like a hand to me, you know? And the, this is the only card that came upright. So what this tells me is like the only thing you get your hands involved in, the only thing that you kind of, oh, I just got an Amazon message. I just got a delivery. Okay, so <laughs> that could be significant to you as well. But I just feel like whatever you get your hands involved in, whatever you get yourself involved in, with pettiness coming out in reverse here, um, going back to that crocodile energy, it's like you're very careful, you're very meticulous within the things that you kind of, I just keep hearing, get involved in. And it's interesting, all colors came out, all elements came out. So you're using your intuition. Blue, water is the only thing that came out upright. You're using your intuition when it comes to certain opportunities that you may be offered, you know, certain circumstances or situations that may be presented to you. I just feel like just continue using your intuition when it comes to that. Because I, I do see pettiness here, but it did come out in reverse here. I'm also seeing adventure coming out in reverse. And I'm seeing that as like, you're not very adventurous with your dealings. Like everything that you do, it has a purpose. It has a reason, you know, so just keep on that path. Um, yeah, let things come to you. Completion. I see three, two, one. So March is bringing a new cycle for you. Also, if you've been lacking in adventure, if you've been lacking in excitement here, starting in March, which literally begins tomorrow, that cycle changes, you know, so you're inviting more adventure into your life. Yeah, the moon in reverse here. It's a cool card. <sighs> Let's move forward again. All right, shuffle for Scorpio. Working with candles. I'm seeing the hermit energy uh, with the lantern. Also hearing seeing in the dark. Contemplation here, okay. And snow, literally like we just said. So you're not kind of, you're not really being too impulsive with anything. You really think everything through. I feel like that's one of like your strong suits, your superpowers, you know? Shuffle for Scorpio. Very patient. Perseverance. Um, um ooh. For some of you, I feel like you're gonna go watch the Aries reading. It's very short, you know, but I'm getting similar energy. I feel like there's something that either 
you persevered through or you waited for and you're going to be grateful that you did that here um this could be a thing where it's like you know you stay single until you meet the right person like you don't just accept any offer you know that you're given here but right on top of the deck i see number 11 falling in love but on the bottom i see perseverance so if you guys do have high standards you know and you do turn down a lot of things i feel like you're going to be very grateful if not now very soon that you kind of waited out or you held out because there is something coming into your life yeah family wow okay nice scorpio some of you are dealing with an aries someone from the past let's ooh we haven't used this deck on the channel in a while here but i see the six of cups as a dark attribute so what you can't see is there's something from your past that could be coming back around there's something that could be returning the very first message of this reading so yeah this is definitely going to be called the return i don't know why i just feel so at home like i feel like i'm talking to like close friends or like family it's kind of giving me the vibe we have on members shuffle for scorpio it's like we're all just sitting around a campfire just like kind of talking doesn't feel like pressure yeah shuffle for scorpio the fool what you can't see is there's a new beginning here for you wow you guys have so much let me just get all the cards on the table before i start talking shuffle for scorpio this is like two decks in one so let's see here you guys have so many major arcana as a dark attribute so if you're concerned or wondering about like what's coming into your life if there's anything new coming into your life absolutely but i feel like it's hidden from you right now i do see an element of you kind of letting go of immature energies around you or things that just don't really you know they're not really parallel to where you're going here with the seven of wands anything that feels like it may backfire here page of cups is a dark attribute and then he's throwing the cup so you're eradicating those things here and i feel like that kind of correlates with that beware of roxanne or that quote that i screenshotted that i read off to you guys so that's kind of what's going on and i feel like something about three hours from now you're gonna see something and then you're gonna make a decision mentally you're gonna throw this cup right moving forward like we said there's something about stepping into march that's going to bring a lot of newness to you what you cannot see immediately after you have the fool brand new beginning here right you have the stars lots of healing you guys could be dealing with an aquarius energy some of you might work online or if you feel guided to do something online like this is your perfect opportunity to go ahead and get started because with the moon in reverse what you can't see is something's going to go very well for you here um also temperance it's divine timing for something new here all of this like i said is dark attributes you can't see any of this yet this is just like a little uh foreshadow of what's to come for you i see the ten of pentacles here as well so something's very lucrative that's coming into your life for some of this for some of you this is a promotion this is a brand new opportunity here and i feel like within this opportunity not only is it helping your finances but it's promoting healing for you i'm hearing and others so like we said something about a small group of people here this could be something between like you and like your friends you and your family this could be a family business but if you're if you feel guided to do anything at this time especially starting tomorrow any nudges that you get take action on it because there's like there's a brand new cycle coming into your life and you have no idea the way in which this will go for you and it's going in a very positive direction here lastly i see the lovers which we called out in this last deck here the falling in love the family here so there is also love here for you if that's something that you're questioning about wondering about it's all here like this is literally everything everything people want 
um, answers about in life, it's all here. You can't see it yet. You cannot see it yet. But I feel like there's communication coming about this very soon, Gemini energy, all right? I'm also getting sixth house. Ooh, Virgo energy. So something about work first, then leads to love. I'm hearing first comes love, then comes marriage, then comes whatever. But something about a new job or a new opportunity could be hand in hand with the new relationship that's coming into your life. The possibility, I'm hearing the possibilities are endless, all right? So beautiful. Yes. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. And like we said, walking into new adventures here, discontent and boredom, that cycle is over. Victory and success is now here for you. All right. Shuffle for Scorpio. It's four o'clock on the dot. Lots of healing within the heart chakra. What did I say I was going to call this reading? <laughs> I already forgot. <laughs> oh, fertility. Some of you. Firm foundation. I see number three and number four. Empress and emperor energy. If you guys are currently with somebody here, just beware. I'm getting it's a very fertile season for you. But if not that, I'm just seeing everything like everything's growing around you. If you look at her hair, it's growing here. If you look at her heart, it's expanding here. If you look, you know, in all areas of life, there's expansion, you know. So just know anything that you any seed that you plant at this time, it will grow into that beanstalk, you know shuffle for Scorpio yes 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 and I feel like if you guys were in a period of solitude mm -hmm, look it's just so you could become very clear your third eye chakra, I'm hearing decalcifying of the third eye chakra. Like you needed to have a very firm foundation that is built on truth here. And that takes solitude, that takes alone time in order for you to see things clearly and properly. I'm also hearing like, um, like a revamping energy. I'm seeing somebody get their car battery, um, you know, when you hook the wires up from one car and another car and it restarts the battery, but I'm seeing that energy between you and your guy. It's like there needed to be a period of solitude. So you guys could kind of like recharge your battery, recharge your connection with your spirit guides. And now it's like you're out of this cycle. You're, you're fresh out of this cycle now. Okay. Now I see after some period of heartache and loss here, you're experiencing recognition and reward. So it's a beautiful time for you. Lots of threes there as well. So March is a very transformative season. I'm hearing collectively. Everyone's everyone's getting this energy, but in different ways. I'm hearing different pockets, different facets here. So it's a it's a prime time, yeah. Lots of transmutation here as well. Let's get some more. Shuffle for Scorpio. The return. Let me write that down before I forget. Y'all know me. <laughs> Shout out to my left-handed friends out there. My cousin, who's a Scorpio, he just had surgery on his hand and he's having to like use his left hand. And he's like, wow, I never realized like how hard it is for left-handed people. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, I'm chilling. <laughs> he gave me like all these different examples and I'm like, I mean, I guess, but never notice. Shuffle for Scorpio. You might want to go watch the last Aquarius reading, My Dream About the Bear. Ooh, yeah, I see a carriage, definitely heavy energy surrounding kids, children. December, something about travel, Sagittarius energy, um, desk, pay attention to your work. You could be traveling for, uh, 
for work sorry egg came out right after that i said traveling for eggs Ooh, something about freezing eggs could be significant like you might or in vitro um ivf or something like that you might have to travel for some type of procedure we do keep talking about this carriage these children so if you're involved in that in any way um i'm getting like now is a great time for that but yeah some of you are definitely traveling here for work um i feel like your period of being in this temporary situation is coming to a close here and like we said any seeds that you plant they will hatch or you know with this egg here as well something about sunrise i'm also seeing a ring there's commitment here but i'm seeing sunrise you know how the sun kind of comes up and it develops like there's something that's blossoming here and it could be some type of commitment um also the wedge here with this woman just be aware of any energies around you like i said i was seeing something about another water sign if you feel like somebody's off if you feel like somebody's like she kind of looks unhinged to me in this card they are so just if while you're having all of this growth and development in your life you just want to steer clear of anybody that's kind of in a weird type of energy yeah i just got an email right now okay but yeah let's move forward beautiful nice stargate heart heart chakra opening unlocking and generosity here but simultaneously to all these great things happening for you i'm just getting that energy of like pay it forward pass it forward you know as you're being blessed bless others in any way that you can or any way that you feel comfortable with any way that you feel guided to because i feel like that's also gonna no it's not about just like having good karma you know but just out of the goodness of your heart like what's the harm in helping other people you know so i just feel like you're gonna there's gonna be people placed along your path that you're gonna have to also extend some type of gestures to mm -hmm. soul star activation i don't know why they're showing me in home alone that man Ooh, 10 percent. yeah wheel of fortune right there they're showing me that man that had all the pigeons and all the birds around him hather light codes light immersion full system upgrade and power recall and that's kind of reminding me of that battery energy that we were talking about like this period has been all about you kind of just like reigniting in some way Re yeah reactivation here temple of truth on top let's see shuffle for scorpio anything else wow that's beautiful <laughs> my dog's snoring <laughs> all right so i have palladian activation here coming together harmony in the heavens and resolution i also have solar light upgrade so solar, solar plexus chakra inner fire and willpower so yeah definitely i'm hearing restoration within your confidence your solar plexus chakra here and then lastly hather came out once again with the hather light code so yes upgrades upgrades and all i'm hearing all areas all avenues as well any last words for scorpio I'm also getting like we started with shadow work it's like something about your shadow work here your patience all of it like just the understanding of all of it i'm hearing in unison is what's leading you to your destiny 
spiritual union and i'm also getting like it's almost like tests like i'm getting the sats and testing like that i'm also hearing um iq tests could be significant but this shadow work is almost like you having to pass certain tests in order to be kind of graduated into this destiny into the spiritual union into this harvest season so all for a great cause scorpio this is a beautiful reading this is where i go um thank you so much for being here and i will see you guys very soon so god bless and i will see you next time